Hey Scorpio, how are you doing? This reading is for Scorpio for the week of August the 12th to the 18th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Scorpio, if you're new to my channel, I am a Scorpio Sun. I also have three placements of Scorpio in my chart. So I get you guys. I feel you guys. I'm here for you guys. This is a safe place to be. So chill out, relax, and enjoy the reading. And Scorpio, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can see the options there. What is going on for the fabulous and most amazing Scorpios? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the king of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. What's coming towards you? The four of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. What you are focused on is the moon. Major Arcana, four Pisces. I'll read that as Cancer. In your blocked and challenged position is the Four of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, and your outcome is the Ten of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Okay, Scorpio, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. Present time, you have the King of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles is making good money, finances improving, abundance, focusing on your health, wealth, happiness, what makes you happy, you know, very solid, stable, reliable, loyal, hardworking, and very focused energy. You know, King of Pentacles can also be a very generous offering, and there is an energy of somebody not budging, so not revealing your hand. It's like you might do, be doing something solo or singular or very private. Yeah, like um, keeping your cards close to your chest here. You could also be withdrawing from a situation that you're bored or discontent or dissatisfied with. It's too much of a burden for you to carry. Or it's one-sided in a situation. But King of Pentacles has a Midas touch. Whatever you touch here, Scorpio, you make more beautiful or turn it to gold. Or it could also be like some kind of golden opportunity that you're working on. And being more mindful of how you save and spend your money. Saving for a down payment on a home or saving up to start some kind of business. Being a little bit more frugal. Or if there's somebody being very stingy and frugal with you. You could be like taking a look at this. And that can also be like businessman, businesswoman, entrepreneur, or you mean business. But like privacy, hiding. What are you hiding here? And the Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And the Queen of Swords is a lot of clarity, a lot of truth. Like, does this make sense? It's also come correctly or don't bother coming at all. There could also be something about a mediator or a middleman here. Getting somebody's great advice or insight. Or a lot of people be, could be coming to you here, Scorpio, for your advice. And it's asking you, because in your blocked and challenged position, is to withdraw. Because I feel like people are distracting you of your own path. Queen of Swords could also be an energy around you in your external environment. That can also be somebody who is heavily judging you, like judging a book by its cover. So they don't know so much about you because, again, you're keeping your cards close to your chest or you're not telling a lot of people of what you're doing or hiding. This could be like deceptive behavior as well. So the need for greed, like somebody who is selfish, self-centered, um... This person is very stubborn or stingy, greedy. So you're kind of looking at this. It's like, um, yeah, I feel like I'm getting the short end of the stick here. Uh, can we clarify this? Queen of Swords can also be a sharp mind, but a sharp tongue. So make sure that you ground your energy before expressing because if emotions are running really high, you could say something out of fear or you can say something about um, like out of anxiety, worry. This is 
the uncertainty. Let's see what this Four of Pentacles is. This could also be somebody who is trying to grip or hold on to you. Or here, Scorpio, it's like fearing or having deep hidden feelings for a person and you're gripping and holding on to a job situation, gripping and holding on to a person. And if you grip and hold on to a situation or a person, you could smother it and burn it out. But if somebody is greedy, only gives you the time of day when they feel like giving you the time of day, you might want to cut this out. I also feel like a lot of people are coming to you for advice and a need for you to... Um, not get distracted, not get distracted on what other people are doing, other people's journey, needing to put your phone on silence here because I feel like you have complainers in your external environment. So people constantly complaining about their problems and it's actually taking you off your focus. What is this? Uh, Four Pentacles. Wow. In the King of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. This is very fixed energy, Taurus energy. So somebody could be very stubborn and fixed and set in their own ways. Or what you're keeping close to your chest here, Scorpio, is that you make really good money, but you're not telling anybody about this. You have the lovers at the bottom. Choice or decision from the heart vulnerability, the bridge to connection. There could also be a king of pentacles in your external environment that is holding their cards to their close to their chest. Or this person could be like eyeing you up. But again, vulnerability, transparency, truth, or a choice, choice or decision in job situation. but it feels a little bit stuck or stubborn. And if you are gripping or holding on to, let's just say your money, the money can't grow. So this is a need for you to withdraw from some kind of commitment or something that's boring. Let's see what this uh, moon card is. Moon card is about getting outside of the familiar so what is familiar is only going to produce the same results. And everything in the unknown, the unfamiliar territories, is you walking the journey. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your intuition. That can also be deep hidden feelings or anxiety, fear, worry, illusion, or your own deceptive behavior, ill health, mental health. Um... Yeah, it's like somebody is like withholding that they can have their cake and eat it too as well, like around you. So this person is really stingy and frugal, could be a boss, could be um, like a person and you're kind of like communicating this. But here it's like walk the journey of the unknown, move into the unknown territories, everything you want, dream of, and desire is right in this blank space. And you're like, there's nothing there. I know, because you're going to create it. What is this moon card? And the page of pentacles. Wow. Wow secret offer, a new investment, new beginning, new opportunity, new possibility, speaks of researching or being the student or learnt lessons or taking some kind of new outlet to grow your finances or that can be like a new hobby, a new habit that you're doing behind the scenes. So this could be like a new diet plan and you're like not telling a lot of people what you're doing. Or this could also be some kind of new investment and you've been holding your cards close to your chest here. Or researching. Um, something needs a little bit more research or study. 
This is also like some kind of healing course or class. That's also longing. Somebody like longing to reach out to you. Or if you're longing and waiting around for somebody here, this is my breadcrumber card. Again, somebody who's like stingy with their time and energy, even though you know this person has um, or can have their cake and eat it too. But for some of you, it's like taking a new business opportunity or expanding your finances. This is also a new routine. Whatever new routine you're doing, it's like you're doing it behind the scenes. That can also be hiring somebody like a client or a customer. There's privacy here. Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles can also be somebody, again, scarcity mindset. Or somebody feels left out in the cold by you. That can also, again, be mental health, ill health, depression. And if you're feeling this way here, Scorpio, um, depression is living in the past. Right here, Four of Cups. Bored, discontent, and dissatisfied. The milk has expired. You've overstayed in a situation and emotionally withdrawn. Feeling a little bit blah in life, like the milk has curdled. But you haven't detached from whatever this situation is. It's like you're still focusing on the disappointment and it's actually keeping you more stuck. So here... You could also be dealing with somebody who has like the boohoo, poor me, poor, poor me, poor, poor me, Scorpio. But what about me? What about you? It's like this person has the same capability as you. It's just that you took action. They didn't. And so this could be like a ghoster or rejection, abandonment issues that you could be working on within yourself or a person here this can also be somebody who's under the weather or you help people so again um, people want your help or support or advice but it's actually here something about um, it's complaints um, and people complaining this is low vibrational energy and if you're complaining what you think about you're going to bring about so don't invite that kind of energy to you. Or somebody is afraid of giving you something or offering you something because they're afraid of being rejected. But again, that could also be like, you know, working through abandonment issues or codependency. Or somebody like guilts you into situations where they're like, but what about me, Scorpio? Yeah, but what about you? And the two of wands. Wow. So you've already made a decision here. It's just that you need to take the next step here. Or this is like learnt lessons. The moon card can also be like full moon. Like getting closure on a situation. And here. You letting go or emotionally detaching from some kind of situation that disappointed you or let you down but still you haven't let it fully go here because see how it's like behind you it's about making a new plan but see somebody is like disappointment or dissatisfied with what you're doing again somebody judging you don't worry about that just focus on your own journey and somebody could be like heavily judging you because maybe you do make really good money or you're just super duper solid. Like you're, that's why you're keeping your cards close to your chest. But if you are trying to get away from a work situation and take something new, um, yeah, you've overstayed in a situation or somebody promised you financial abundance and or commitment and it didn't pull through. Instead, they gave you breadcrumbs. Hello, take a look at this. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is, you know, let go of the burden. Let go of the one-sided situations. Let go of energy drains, energy vampires, people who steal your time, your money, your energy. 
No wonder why you're keeping your cards close to your chest. And the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Wow. Someone's like heavy, heavily attracted to you. And maintain your independence. Maintaining your independence is very triggering to other people. This could be like Aries, Sagittarius energy. The sun, truth, clarity, running on full bars, returning to good health and healing, joy, happiness, success, abundance. It's every single positive word you can think of. And anything hidden in the dark is coming to light. So I do feel like there could have been someone who wanted to reach out to you, but they were like afraid to. Or if this is something that you need to release and let go, make a new plan. It's like you're taking a different offer here. And here with this Queen of Wands, this is like solar plexus sensuality sexuality the way that you express yourself this is like a heavy passion or a heavy hot and heavy spicy connection somebody is really attracted to you or so you are really attracted to a situation that you have been building for yourself like this is creativity enthusiasm um queen of wands is somebody who is like motivating or an inspiration to others, like a heavy inspiration. This is spotlight energy. When you walk into a room here, Scorpio, whether you know it or not, people get whiplash over you. And, you know, if you've been dealing with the Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands could be a little bit ruthless or controlling. And you're like, yeah, this is too heavy for me. Maybe that's why you've been keeping quiet. And there is, there's some kind of great advice or insight could be coming from an air sign or somebody judged a book by its cover. Like it's really heavily judgmental and being critical towards yourself here, Scorpio, as well. So we are our worst enemy. This is somebody who could be like unmarried um, a divorcee or a widower as well. Reach out. We know you are reaching out right now for help due to a current situation. Support, support is as much as the physical act of accepting help where offer as it is about the emotional benefits and learning that it's truly okay to accept support. However, it's present, presented to you. So this could be like a passed on loved one reaching out to you in your dreams that gives you some kind of great idea. Or there is, you know, a need for you to open up a little bit. Because there is like an offering, but... It might not be a huge offering. I feel like if this person does make really good money or has a lot of money, um, they might be kind of testing the waters with you to see if you want them for who they are as a person. But this can also be you here, Scorpio. Dream talk. Cancer just had this one. Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in, in which your soul and those here in the spiritual world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. Yeah, pay, pay attention to the signs, the synchronicities. Um, you know, I was walking the other day and I saw a bunch of feathers so I know that those are like my past on loved ones and angels. It's like um, receiving me messages in your dream state. Or like some kind of great idea that it's like you're going to dream about it. 
This person could also be dreaming of you. Like I said, this person is like, has a heavy passion. Also, if you run into sexy time too quickly, um, it's going to crash and burn and turn into a one-sided situation. So just boundaries, maintain your independence. Embrace the moment. Embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Right here, Four of Cups. Try not to judge yourself or others right there. This may be hard, harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you are changing your energy. You change your thoughts, you change your beliefs, you change your life. So your thoughts, your behavior, and your attitude towards yourself is what manifests. And it sounds so simple. Your thoughts. So what are your thoughts? Go about your day and pay attention to what you think about. And then your behavior. How am I showing up as the best version of me? That's all you have to ask yourself. Am I showing up as the best version of me? And your behavior are you looking in the mirror and being like you're you're not good enough or are you looking in the mirror and being like I'm not good enough to put myself out there or get a new job just watch or it, are you you know looking at other people and being and saying things right without thinking Hello from heaven. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking about of them. They are sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you to pro and provide they are with you at this time. Well, that's a nice message. Butterfly, a change for the better. Bo, you were highly thought of. Yeah, I was like, this is like heavy attraction. Or there is somebody who is afraid to reach out to you, longing to reach out to you. Or like they're testing the waters. Crib, birth or conception of a child and or enterprise. You could be keeping that quiet as well. So here it's like um, privacy, making baby, <laughs> heavy love situation. <laughs> Great, it's time to go out and have fun. Yeah, let loose, have fun. Wind chimes, peace and harmony. It feels like you're getting a better offer in work. Um, I feel like you got like some kind of empty promise or like somebody was going to pay you, but they turned out to be quite stingy or something like that. Bull, do not back down from opposition, show strength and fortitude. Yeah, don't back down to bullies as well. Beetle, good fortune, a change for the better. Lightning, control your anger or you will be sorry. So just going back to the Queen of Swords, okay? And persevere and you'll overcome problems. Going back to the Queen of Swords. Your triggers are your responsibility. So if an old pattern comes up and you get this worry, anxiety, fear, take a step back and ask yourself, of why am I thinking this thought? Well, it's because of rejection or something from your past that you still need to move on from. So somebody did you wrong in the past or left you out in the cold or um, you didn't get the offer you wanted, something like that. But don't sit in this Four of Cups. This is my Boohoo Eeyore card and Complainer card. So if you're constantly complaining that things aren't going right in your life, what do you think you attract? More complainers. If you are focusing on, of, uh, you know, clear-headed, clear-minded, thinking ones, being practical, and expressing yourself. 
So anything, like I said, you give positive attention to, you will thrive. But I also feel like there could be somebody who suppresses their feelings here. If you suppress your feelings, again, you're going to explode. And you could be seeing some kind of queen of wands. You could be letting go of a fire sign as well. But it's going to take your strength here or power. And you could be calling in some kind of like earth water sign here. Air, earth, water, air. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe. And Scorpio, if you want to book a private reading, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can see the options there. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.